you only have I would say roughly four to five hours left before you know you can't register to vote so please if you are watching this video the link is attached below in my video please register to vote just click that link if you have not it takes five minutes to register we only have until 11 59 literally today until it reaches 12 where you cannot do anymore so please please i urge you all register to vote it only takes under five minutes please only takes under five minutes thank you Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, Murad and Morali. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now, I obviously wanted to do a kind of documentary related kind of analysis video of really just finding out who this, this Mariam Mola individual person is. Of course, a lot of people have been talking about her, discussing, uh, making videos, of course, the channel of Exposure, which everybody knows about, who is doing an absolutely great job in really detailing what is going on with SPAC Nation with, you know, the actually underlayers of this whole institution, corrupt institution, I might add, which I definitely feel like it is allegedly, but still, I feel like it definitely is, um, where we have Mariam Mola, who's somebody, you know, there was a video that I did a while ago on her when she was with Gifty and the way she just seemed to be very controlling, she seemed to be somebody who can adopt the behavior of a handler very easily. And I wouldn't be surprised if she was a handler of so many young individuals and people. But I thought I would do like, kind of like a background research to find out who really is this person, who is Mariam Mola, and just really go through everything and just the background because it's all literally online in terms of the newspapers, the articles, the Telegraph, like The Guardian, everybody has reported on this in the past. So, you know, this is public information and this public information seems to be very shocking. Own your space, stay in your lane and do what works for you and build gradually. I don't care how I get it. I just know that I can get it. And even if I don't get it, it will come through. God, God will show me who has the money. Own your space, stay in your lane and do what works for you and build gradually. It has to have a purpose. There has to be an assignment behind why you're using certain platforms. I need seven people that can give me 1K every week. I don't want you paying for services anymore. I'm gonna find those, and I said, is that okay? Because I know that you were paying for services before. I don't want you paying for services anymore. I can't rely on one person to give me money for services. Even, it's not even, bro, I don't even need that. Own your space. I would never, try and get an audience full of makeup artists to meet me up for breakfast and in that morning mm -hmm. they wouldn't come because i don't know anything about makeup know your space it has to have a purpose there has to be an assignment behind why you're using certain platforms There's own your space stay in your lane and do what works for you and build gradually it has to have a purpose there has to be an assignment behind why you're using certain platforms i just want to reiterate the seriousness of this video as well it's nothing to laugh about i think there's no form of tea or you know joy or you know kind of just like a banter about this entire video I feel like it's very serious and I feel like we should definitely um, just take it with that tone. For example, I was obviously looking through several articles and one of them was the Daily Telegraph, which can disclose that Miss Mola's claims are not all they appear to be. In fact, her real name is Mariam Ambula, who on one occasion preyed on a woman with a Down syndrome's daughter in order to trick her family out of more than £15,000 by posing as a foreign official. Ambula also used other pseudonyms, including Cindy Ambula, far from being an innocent 18-year-old caught up in a single crime perpetrated by a much older boyfriend. Now, before I continue to read this article, that's just the one sentence that I'm gonna read over again to you guys. Far from being an innocent 18-year-old caught up in a single crime perpetrated by a much older boyfriend. Now, we're gonna cast it a few years back to an interview that she did on The Lorraine Show. And if you actually just watch this video, I wanted to show a few intimate clips of her behavior and her body language. That's what I want you to concentrate Concentrate on, but we're not going to concentrate on what she is saying here because I do believe that is a complete bravado. But if you actually listen and study the body language of this individual and this person, then you can see that there seems to be this form of decorum, a complete different behavior, even the way she speaks. If you want to focus on that, just everything. If you channel all of that behavior and actually try to study it, it's very different to what we've seen in the you know SPAC Nation related pasta kind of videos that she does online and these kind of live calls and whatever, this FaceTime stuff. It's very, very different. And um, the person I was with um, committed some fraud and um, because I was involved in that crowd, I was a later sentence um, to quite a heavy prison sentence um, when expecting my first baby. It's a completely different persona she's adopted and played upon and I find this to be very interesting and it only highlights the in-depth of kind of fraudulent mindset of this individual and how scary it can be when it comes to, you know, 
just brainwashing young and younger children to take on loans 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 etc and how scary it can be and you know this seems to be an entire different person she's playing the narrative of how she was tricked as a young girl naive somebody much more older she was at the wrong place at the wrong time this is the narrative that she's been going with i was at the wrong place at the wrong time i've had a baby um, during prison woe me woe me woe me i'm going to use this story to show how powerful and strong i am and how i've overcome stuff then i'm going to use that narrative to help manipulate people and brainwash them without them even knowing it by using a very simple term called gaslighting which I feel like is something that she has definitely been doing with these people because that gas that video gifty was just very sad to see. Amula was a career con artist the Daily Telegraph reports who had been jailed not only in the UK but also in Belgium and Spain. She was also wanted on suspicion of leading a crime gang in Italy. In total Amula has at least 13 convictions for 34 offences. 27 of those are for fraud and dishonesty according to um, Detective Sergeant David Vint of the Metropolitan Police who has investigated her for 18 months. Maria Mola from East London most recently received a 24-month suspended sentence at Southwark Crown Court on July the 1st this year. She pleaded guilty to three counts of fraud following her arrest in November 2014. The court heard that on July 17, 2013, Ambula had dishonestly made a false representation claiming to be an official from the British Consulate in Spain. She had been jailed in Spain for fraud and whilst in prison befriended her cellmate, a British woman with two daughters in the UK, one of whom who has, a Down, who has Down syndrome. Ambula was freed before a cellmate and then contacted the family in Britain posing as an embassy official. She telephoned one of the daughters and explained that because her sister had Down syndrome, her mother was eligible for early release. All she had to do was deposit £15,600 in a bank account as sure and the mother would be released. It was of course a scam. Then in August 2014, Ambula was at it again. This time she claimed to be working with Nike, the sportswear company. She told a victim that she could make the woman's daughter the global face of the brand. The victim duly handed over £11,000 and four £11,400. A few months later, on November 24, 2014, Ambula again conned her victim out of £18,214.96 by selling her numerous designer clothes which she never delivered. A further set of alleged offences were allowed to remain on file including swindling a number of women over designer shoe business called Cindy Shoes which she set up in 2014. One victim, that one victim Natasha Bendel, 32 and mother of three, told the Telegraph how Ambula, going by the name of Cindy, had taken more than £655 from her for Chris and Louboutin shoes that she had hoped to wear on her wedding day. The shoes never arrived, Ambula and Mariam Mola vanished with the money in June 2014. She's a total crook, says Mrs. Brendel from Reading. Mrs. Bendel was staggered to see Ambula appear on daytime television using the name Maria Mola, describing how she had turned her life around after giving birth in jail in May 2015. Ambula told an interview Gabby Roslin, who presents ITV's Arraign, that she had been caught up in a fraud committed by a former partner almost a decade ago. I was in a bad relationship at the time, Ambula told Roslin, and the person I was with committed some fraud, and because I was involved in that crowd, I was later sentenced to quite a heavy prison sentence when expecting my first baby. It is a claim she's repeated in newspapers and also a lot of series of Mentor Matcha events. There is no suggestion of any wrongdoing by Mentor Matcha. Another victim, Shamina Dixon, this is ridiculous, 29, was also astonished by the claims and Bula has stolen 1,600 from her mother, promising to buy a cheap flight to Jamaica to visit Miss Dixon's sick grandmother and Bula took the money but the airline tickets never materialised. This is ridiculous. And Bula did give birth in, in a UK prison after being jailed in May 2015 at Basildon Crown Court. She had been arrested in February the previous year by Essex Police for a series of credit and bank card frauds committed between March 2010 and June 2011. It had taken time for police to catch up with her because she was serving prison sentences in Spain and Belgium prior to her arrest on her return to the UK. And Bula, was, when approached by the Telegraph at the Bulgari Hotel event yesterday, declined to comment. She'd also failed to respond to emails for comments. This is clearly to be, you know, shocking. It's upsetting. It's disgusting. I find it to be very sad. We have this individual who, you know, there are multiple accounts. There are several accounts of fraud, con, you know, kind of crimes that have taken place. So the question that comes to my head immediately is why would SPAC Nation employ somebody to work at their church, their institution, who has this many accounts on their file? That in itself, the fact that she even works with them and represents them within itself even highlights how corrupt this institution can definitely be because no church institution is working with young children young boys young girls naive young individuals and people should have somebody like this around them in their environment because they're going to pose a danger to them own your space stay in your lane and do what works for you and build gradually
I don't care how I get it. I just know that I can get it. And even if I don't get it, it will come through. God, God will show me who has the money. I was speaking to Pastor Arthur this week. I said, I need seven people that can give me 1K every week. I don't want you paying for services anymore. I'm going to find those. And I said, is that okay? Because I know that you were paying for services before. I don't want you paying for services anymore. I can't rely on one person to give me money for services. Even, it's not even, bro, I don't even need that. Maybe not physical, but definitely either financial, which we've definitely read out of scene, and definitely meant mentally as well. And I find it to be shocking. The fact that she's even within the circumference of this church in itself speaks volumes. Yes, people can change, they can be employed, and, and you know, they can work, and everybody should be given a chance. But I haven't read out one or two accounts to you. I've read out several, five to six to seven to eight. So many accounts of continuous con fraudulent crimes of the past that have taken place where she seems to put on this entire bravado and it's shocking. And the reason why I'm doing this video and the reason why I'm discussing this and talking to you about this is because we have young children who are at stake. Some of them don't even know it. Some of them probably regret what's going on. We have people on my channel commenting on the related video saying that they've also been a part of taking out loans. How can you help me please? Shouting for help, asking for help because they've been in this particular, they've been in these predicaments. So this situation, as I've expressed, is a very important situation and I feel like you know, we have younger children at stake here. I don't know why people aren't talking about this even more so than they are. I feel like everyone needs to raise concerns about this only because, not only, but the main reason for me is because we have young children at stake. When you have young people at stake, so much can take place that you don't even know. And obviously when it comes to religion, it, it can be used as a catalyst for corruption, whether it be in mosques, whether it be in churches, whether it be in synagogues, whether it be in temples, anywhere. And again, I was doing more research and we have somebody else who was simply writing in a forum called Just Answer. And this is what she said. Hi there, I paid for a course advertised at Maria Muller of Mentor Matcher back in December. The Mentor Masterclass was meant to be five days and in February. On the run up to the course, I had nothing about where it was or the itinerary. Even after asking many times when it came to week before, I called them to ask for details again and explain that I could not stay in London where the course was. All the options of places to stay that I could afford had gone. And I have to commute daily by train from Brighton, another big express. Mariam asked if I'd like to change to the May masterclass and she would offer accommodation at no extra cost. The May dates are next week and after asking for daily information, I have nothing. The cost was £1,000 and 200 which I paid via bank transfer. I even got in touch with Mariam as I was worried about the reports online that she's a serial fraudster. This was after I paid her. I had no reason to believe she was bad. I, well, clearly, you, if you've read reports online that she's a fraudster, that you would have to, you would definitely have reason to believe she's bad. And she talked her way out of it. What can I do? I need my money back from this woman. I again have been priced out of the, my accommodation market for next week. I don't even know if the course exists because I never got any information from her or the assistants. Is this fraud or at least customer dissatisfaction? I paid a lot for something that I'm not getting help. Please help. We even have an expert lawyer reply saying, I have been asked to look at this for you. Looking at this article, referencing the article I just read out to you, it seems that she is a serial fraudster and therefore the chance of you getting your money back is remote. Because you've heard nothing, I would tell her that unless you hear by the end of the day, you are going to refer the matter to the police and action fraud. I can see no point in messing about any further and I wouldn't accept any excuses. Get, if you had paid by credit card, always recommend in, in cases like this, you would have a filed a Section 75 Consumer Credit Act claim and you would have got your money back from the credit card company. Even if you only pay a deposit by the card, you can get the full amount back from the credit card company. Of course, you can issue small claims court proceedings quickly and easily here at www.moneyclaim.gov.uk. If you warn her, that unless you hear from her within the next seven days, you will do so. I think the chance of you getting your money back is remote and it could be several months before. So obviously I want to read out the lawyer's kind of, you know, side and experts. If anybody has experienced that themselves, and you know, this is free knowledge, you know, knowledge is free, clearly online. Um, and you can definitely read up on so much going on. So I wanted to just get that kind of answer out. But I wanted to do like this video, sorry if it's a bit too long, but I wanted to just really just detail and give it like a exposed kind of ingrained analysis on what Maria Mola is doing. This, person that she's betraying and the fact that she is a Splat Nation and you know she, hopefully people I know people from, from Splat Nation have uh, watched my videos because I've got some you know information from you guys which I'll do in a separate video but hopefully you guys anybody watched the video may even know this girl so you know this could perhaps um, open their eye because I do know that a lot of people at Splat Nation actually are subscribed to my channel from what I've known met in the last year or so people come up to me and say xyz so hopefully this could help somehow be an eye opener if you know some people tend to look up to their YouTubers or whatever so if there is that any sense then hopefully then they'll take on board this information and value it and consider it and you know consolidate it. I just wanted to do a quick video. Let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to this. What are your thoughts when it comes to this whole situation? I think um, 
I think the situation is just dire, it's sad, it's an emergency, I feel, and I feel like consistently on a weekly basis or so, I will be doing a video here and there just to maintain the relevance and the importance of this because we do have younger children who are at stake and it seems to be ongoing, getting worse, worse and worse and we have to do something about it as individuals as people uh, you know as content creators whatever you want to call it also need to raise awareness as well so let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this video please do subscribe and click that button for daily and consistent content head over to my instagram marad underscore morali subscribe 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 and i'll catch you guys soon for another video